educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, any questions today, 877-927-6648. Uh, I posted a chart of the FTSE, as you can see. It certainly looks different than ours, but remember, uh, this happened before the report popped up, so it could have continued to go higher. That I don't know. I was just giving it to you as I saw it. Uh, it was a sent to me uh, early this morning, and we, another one you want to look at, of course, here is the uh, German DAX because it has been, uh-oh, hold on here, just a slight problem in River City. Just give me a, one second here. We uh, just, uh, hold on one second. I just found out just a few minutes ago that Mr. Vin Scully is going to be buried in Westlake Village there at St. Jude's Church that I belong to when they broke ground on that little puppy way back in 1966. There wasn't even water in the, the lake at that time. And well, we had some famous people that belonged to that church. My goodness. I wasn't one of them, by the way, boys and girls. Let's go over a market that is uh, in the news, and we need to pay really close attention to it, uh, and that is the crude oil market. I'm going to give you my guess bet. <laughs> best guess of what we're looking at here so hold on one second and we'll get the chart up and you'll be able to see it easy enough here this is the daily chart of the crude that we posted in our newsletter we said that that was a big ABCD fortunately it went right down to the level the low was 8701 the numbered measured to 618 was 8735 and of course we had a a uh, very strong rally uh, after that, and I, and I think we need to uh, go over that because it's had uh, a huge, a huge move here, and uh, some of these things that we're seeing today are hitting a lot of these patterns that we talk about. Uh, some of them we've been waiting for for quite some time, like in the E-mini S&P and some of the others. But here you can see what we had here in the crude oil. You'll notice here the bottom, the big ABCD to the downside. You can see it coming in right there at 87.01. Uh, uh, then we had the rally yesterday. Went exactly, folks, to the exact tick of the 382. We mentioned that in a newsletter that would most probably get a rally that would extend up to that 9264 uh, level. The high was 9265. And from there, we came all the way back down, folks. I'm going to show you in just a second. We came all the way back down to the 78% swing of that whole move intraday. In other words, you're talking about $5,000 up and $4,000 down. And that, that in itself is really, um, you know, to me, quite amazing. Probably a uh, what we call a uh, coincidence, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, now we'll put this up here. You'll be able to see the uh, – uh, would you please – someone please let me know that uh, that I'm coming through all right because I'm not getting any response from uh, looking at uh, inside the uh, the host, method, host mechanism here. So, uh, Al, could you let me know that I'm being heard because I don't I don't know whether I am or not. And I certainly don't want to waste anybody's time here today. Uh, so let's uh, remind ourselves of that. But that's this is what the crude oil did. You see, after the high, it made this really nice Gartley up there and then came down, made a 382 retracement. Uh, boom. And then, boy, down it came, uh, you know, straight down. So those are just some of the things that we're, we're looking at these as we're watching some of these uh, markets unfold today. That was one of the larger ones. And... Uh, I uh, do not know what's happening here, so let me uh, – uh, shucks, I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Well, <laughs> in the dark, as they say, and loving it. Okay, let's move on here to uh, look at another chart here pretty soon, and we'll get move on to the next one, and we'll go from that level right here. And let's move that crude oil to where we were, and I wanted to show you what happened to crude. 
because you'll see as we post this up here, you'll be able to see that we are looking at, one second, get this chart up and we'll be able to see it. There it is. Here's the crude oil over the last several days. Now, you see, after we hit that 382, we came down, went below the 78% level. And, folks, we are all the way back up to 91.55 already. So it's gained back more than 78% of it in just two hours. That is not a bearish formation, folks. I think you have to pay close attention to the fact that we've made possibly – a very major bottom in the crude oil, heating oil, and your uh, natural and your gasoline contract. So let's take a look at the net. First, we're going to look at the gasoline contract. It's a little different because we went substantially below the 61% retracement, but we did make a beautiful, as we put it here, there you go. You'll see the beautiful ABCD, the three drive to a bottom that occurred right here. This was just several days ago, as you can see. We posted this in the newsletter. We've had a very strong rally. It hasn't even made a 382 retracement yet. We did it in the crude, but we've not done it in the, uh, in the gasoline contract. So even though we're having a lot of short covering in here, you know, the, uh, it, maybe this is a major bottom and maybe it isn't. But the way that it's acting, coming back so quickly, is yes, it looks like it has some of the earmarks of, uh, you know, something that is, uh, you know, very, very important. And we'll just, I want to make double check uh, and uh, see what's going on here. Uh, see if I'm getting through here because I can't tell whether I am online or not. Let me double check just to be sure. Yeah, it looks like I'm online, but by golly, it doesn't look like we're getting anything moving here. So let's move on one second here. Okay, there we go. Now we, okay, there we go. We're in good shape now. Okay, let's move on here. And I wanted to cover the gasoline. And also, we need to cover the um, uh, heating oil contract because here again, you know, these markets make patterns, but they don't make them all at the same time, especially with crude oil because crude oil is the, the, uh, the, the, ba the back background of the heating oil backbone and the uh, natural and the gasoline contract so that's the one you want to watch because that's got the biggest open interest but you can see here uh, this is the heating oil now it made a beautiful uh, you know butterfly pattern down there the others made three drive to a bottom patterns okay but not with the heating oil the heating oil made a beautiful uh, heating oil made a beautiful three drive butterfly pattern it's not a three dry, folks. It's a butterfly pattern down there. Now, we've had a pretty good rally, but not even 382. So it's still still in the mood uh, to see what we're doing here. Now, we've got some other patterns that are hop hopping in here today. Uh, we're going to get those right after we come back from the break. But we've got some that are looking pretty interesting. And I think uh, we'll have to pay close attention to them because uh, they look like they could be really, really powerful ones. And we'll start out, of course, with one of our favorites, which is the gold market. And we'll get this up here to show you. And when we get back from our break here, we will talk about the gold market. 877 927 6648. inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks, we're going to talk about the gold market. As you can see here, we are making a huge ABCD pattern that measures to 1822. The high was 1823.90. We're now trading at 1813. Uh, I believe that that's a pretty good spot there today. We posted that in the morning to show you that, yeah, there's a big ABCD that was coming in, you know, very, very close to those numbers. Yesterday, uh, I remember... Uh, we had talked about the possibility that we were getting really close to a high coming up here in the uh, uh, gold because I'll bring this up. Uh, this is the one we looked at from yesterday when it was trading at uh, 18, uh, 17 and change. And today we went a little bit higher with the news that came out. The market spiked. Uh, we had gone from 1800 to uh, it actually jumped $23. It went from 1800 to 1823 during the report. And that uh, brings it up to that final target that we we're looking at, which was 1822, if in fact it's valid. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, you're never sure about these patterns, folks. That's the main The time you think you're sure, <laughs> that's the time you, did, you really want to be unsure. And the one that looks the best sometimes is not the best. So remind ourselves of that. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose, and that's the, the key to watch what we're watching here is looking at some of these. Now, there's another one out here that we talked about for quite a bit, and I think it's important because we're at the moment of truth, and this one also, this happens to be the old favorite of everyone, the old stop and P, the E-mini S&P. Put this up here, and you'll be able to see it here. There's where we were. You can see our, our bottom that we had back here. Back on the 24th, we had to move. There's the key right there, folks. Uh, we were That was the 26th of July. That was actually uh, the last time I was on, I, as I recall. And uh, we were right there at uh, 39.13. That was a 63.82 retracement. You see I've marked that there so you can see it. A perfect ABCD. Well, if you do some uh, addition and subtraction, if you add B and C together, Okay, and you subtract A, use B plus C minus A, will give you the number you're looking up here, which was 4210. And the high today was 
40 to 12. Well, it was off a little bit so far before it probably goes to 46 or 49 or 50, whatever you want to look at. But that's a one that looks very, very interesting from a, a beautiful uh, pattern. Now, there also is another one. This is the, uh, the Dow Jones E-mini. I want to bring it up to you. And you make your own decisions, but the patterns are a little different in this because, you know, you're only looking at 30 stocks when you're looking at the Dow E-mini. And with the S&P, you're looking at 500. But here's your 50, uh, your, your eight-minute chart. You can see beautiful. There was your high of the day. We came all the way down to uh, 32 one something. I forget what it was, 32 180 or something like that. But we could easily go above it. But these are patterns that allow you to get in for short-term trading. And, uh, you know, you have to pick the time frame that you're looking at. But if you wait to make sure that the time frame matches the pattern that you're looking at, you got a pretty good chance. And that, that's what it is. It's a game of chance. And you want to put the chance in your favor. And the best way to do that is by preparation. That's the one that will get you to the promised land. And there was one today that we did we did several videos last night uh, on the e-mini S&P uh, gold crude oil uh, the, the euro we'll cover the euro uh, in just a moment and then of course the one that was uh, what we thought was the easiest trade of the day which was the treasury bonds and we'll start out by looking uh, at the treasury bonds here on the uh, longer term time frame this is the weekly you can see here we made the 382 retracement up here at 46 Okay, we're now trading at uh, 42, just about ready to go below 41. But coming into report like what we had yesterday, the bonds were having a little bit of a rally. And so what we were saying is, if you're going to look at something like that, find the one that gives you the best possible entry with the least amount of risk of what you want to do. And that's what the whole key to, to trading is all about, folks. And what we're going to do now is, believe it or not, we're going to go across the land here and we're going to see the picture of the Treasury bonds on a four-hour chart. And you'll be able to see it clearly, what we were looking at today. We were expecting them to get to this the 61% uh, retracement up there at 44. The high was 44.07. It's now two handles lower or more. I haven't checked it recently, but uh, the risk here was very small and it's already made two grand, which is the kind you'd like to see. So now, do they always line up like this? Of course not. But when you've got a report in there, you got to expect to see something a little, you know, uh, uh, unusual. Now, you know, let's talk about unusual for just a moment, folks. All of a sudden today, the Federal Reserve sees that, oh, my goodness, maybe inflation is coming to an end and we won't have to raise interest rates like this. That, that's probably what they're thinking, right? Just like what you're thinking. Inflation's out of the road. Uh, are earnings increasing? No, not yet. So the emotionalism that you're seeing today is the ideal situation for pattern completion. On top of that, tomorrow, believe it or not, when our guest will be Stan Harley, on Friday we have Peter Elides of Stock Market Cycles, and on Monday we've got Norm Winsky of Astro Tens, but we also have tomorrow is a full moon. And boy, it's going to be a beautiful one because we're getting ready for the harvest moons, and those are always the brightest. So whether they have the same power that some of these, we don't know, but we know that it's a 14-day cycle. So this is where you should be looking for an area, not to add to your positions if you're long, but possibly even reversing and going short if you have that opportunity to do that. Now, you know, maybe it doesn't work. All I know is so far it's working pretty good. But, you know, that doesn't mean it's going to end up for the day that way, does it? No, we don't think so. We don't know. All we know is how to react to it, and that's what you really try to do when you're doing these things because then you're able to, you know, keep it, you know, in your uh, in your bailiwick. We've got a bright break coming up here, and uh, I want to mention one other thing. Um, uh, just, let me, Vin Scully is being buried at St. Jude's Catholic Church in Westlake Village, which I was one of the founding folks there back in 66. Uh, one of the people on the program with me was Dave Stockton, who won the U.S. Open, the golf pro, Clint Walker, the actor Cheyenne, Strother Martin. You remember him from Cool Hand Luke. He says, what we have here is a failure to communicate. Well, he died in Westlake Hospital and my ex-sister-in-law uh, was the nurse that was taking care of him. He had a massive, massive uh, 
heart problem, and there was nothing they could do about him. He was very young. He was only like 62, 63, but a really nice guy. Mickey Rooney also belonged to the church. Oh, there were just a lot of people there, uh, nice old folks, just so living in the same dream, you know, many, many years ago. I just got really lucky living in that place. And do you know, folks, believe it or not, this was 1966, and I moved in there, and my phone number was 213-889-1618. Honest to God, and I, I didn't know Fibonacci from... Uh, cabbage honest to god and that was my phone number and i remembered it all these years because of 1618 later on it made a lot of sense hey let's take a break 877-927-6648 we're coming back with the euro If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, okay, folks, I posted the chart of the euro here. This is the daily. I, I want to show you the sequence of events here because it's relatively important, but I, I was getting ready to the break here. I was thinking um, of Westlake Village and stuff. In fact, my my uh, youngest daughter is going to be moving back to that area, but moving back to Westlake Village, and uh, she likes the area quite a bit. And so uh, we were chatting about that a little bit. But the the story was, uh, this was in 1985 when I was going through a divorce. Uh, we were sitting there. We were splitting everything amicably. I was taking the Drexel stock, and she was taking the house. She got the inside. I got the outside. She got the gold mine, I got the shaft, is how that movie goes. No, everything was great. But our priest was there, who's still there at St. Jude, and our attorney was there. 
and um, we were going through the stuff, and our accountant was there, Mike Davis was there, and uh, he mentioned to me, he said, boy, Larry, he said, you've really come back well from that million dollars that you lost in 1975, and the ex-wife said, looked at me, and she said, you lost a million dollars in 1975? She said, you took us to Hawaii for a month during the Christmas holidays, the whole family, nine of us, and we spent a lot of money, and you said we lost a million dollars? And I said, well, you know, case of E, sometimes it goes, sometimes it stays. Anyway, it was good that I lost that money because that's when I got the Gartley book, found out what I had done wrong through the years and been fighting my way back ever since. Been doing okay, so no complaints. But uh, thinking of those memories was uh, really quite – and so if you're, if you're losing here, folks, keep, keep it up. Just uh, – Keep trying. You're going to make it. If you stop making some mistakes, you're going to be okay. And that's the main thing. My main, I've told you many times uh, the reason why I lost that money because I was just stupid. I added losers. You know, I didn't really follow margin because I, I thought I was gold and I didn't know what it was like to lose. But it took me a year and a half to figure it out. But uh, since that time, I've learned a little bit and that's really good. Let's get back to the euro here. Now, this is the daily. I want you to see this because you can see this smaller pattern that's here. This was so. So easy to look at today because once that report came out, I want to get it up here so you'll be able to blow it up and be able to see, you know, what I was watching here. And here it is right here. We'll get this up. Hold on one second. And uh, move up here. Okay, here's where we are. This is the blown up version of the euro. And I want, to, I want you to notice, you see this, all these days right here where it's sitting there at 102 and change. There's where it was sitting, folks, right before the report. Well, you knew that there were going to be stops there, for God's sakes. And, of course, it hit it, and it went straight up and completed the ABCD pattern. Guess where, folks? Right at the 50% level and proceeded to back off 50 pips. Now, will that be enough? I don't know, but I wanted to be watching that. Because it is an ABCD. As a matter of fact, if you look at it closely, you can see it's a double ABCD. So there's another one that has uh, pretty much uh, lined up uh, the way we'd like to see it. Now, let me see if we have any. Uh, no, we don't seem to have any questions uh, coming in right now, but maybe they'll be summing in. I hope Basil's having a fun day on his day of uh, trading live, which. Uh, which I really like doing. We'll do that sometime in September, October, probably, God willing, and she usually is. Okay, now I've covered the euro, and I've covered the crude oil. Okay, give me one second here now. I want to, to see where we are with a couple of quick markets here. Uh, is this the one I wanted to see here? Ah, yes, 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 yes. Had a question, boys and girls, about the stock of Mickey Mouse. Let's get it up here so we'll be able to see it. Uh, where are you, Mickey? Is this it? Here we go. Here's Disney. Just one second here. And the question was, is Mickey Mouse a good buy? Disney a good buy here? Well, folks, it was a good buy down here where you had the butterfly bottom down there at 90 and change. Now we're trading up at a 112, some 112, 111, and you're completing a giant ABCD up in here. No, no, I can't be a buyer up in here. That that you're giving up. Look at this. Things up 25 percent in in five and a half weeks. So you're buying into strength, and now you're buying into strength. Where do you put your stop? Well, if you want to put your stop at today's low, sure, buy it. Or the day before's low, buy it. Or the three day low, buy it. Put your stop below that. But you know, I would rather buy on a nice pullback. And you're not seeing that at Disney right now. Now, what we want to do is we're going to do the same thing with Disney that we did with uh, the euro. In other words, we want to blow this area up just to see if we can see a pattern that gives us a little bit better indication of, uh, you know, what's really happening with uh, Disney. And so uh, we will get this up here with God willing, and I, she usually is. Where did I put you, Mr. Disney? Oh, no, no, no. I've lost you, Disney. Mickey Mouse, where are you? Ah, no, I haven't. Here we go. There it is, one second, and we'll be right up here. Now, what I've done now is blown this up so you'll be able to see it easy, and you'll be able to see is what we're forming today is that same three-drive pattern that we're seeing in the Dow Jones and the E-mini and all the others. Whether it's going to be good or not, I don't know. All I do know is that, by golly, you know, we got that lunar cycle coming in tomorrow, and the market's really strong. They got the greatest news since uh, – 
you know, Hector was a pup and that dog's 17 years old. So, you know, this is a pretty good spot here, you know, to take the other side. Is If you can buy the ABCDD on the downside, the three drive to a top on the down, the three drive to a bottom on the downside, you should be able to sell a three drive to a top on the upside because all it is is a reversal pattern of that. So remind ourselves, folks, that uh, these patterns repeat, but boy, they are far from perfect. Because when they fail, oh boy, and when they fail, this could be one of those days. That's what you want to be uh, looking for. But so far, markets are doing pretty much what we expected. We've made the big A, B, C, D. I haven't checked the uh, S&P recently to see where we are. Uh, someone just told me it's trading at around 42.02. That's down about 10 bucks from the high. The um, Dow Jones is down about oh, 150 from the high. And uh, we got gold trading down at uh, 1813. That's down from the high that we had up there at 1822. That one is doing okay. And bonds continue to go down, down, down. And that's what we're watching as we look at these things. Another question that someone's just asked is about the crude oil. Where would you look to be the first buyer of crude oil? Well, we mentioned that after you have a major bottom you know, come in, you should look for a 382 retracement. But yesterday, you remember that this is this is where it gets really difficult, folks. Let me show you in just one day, because this would you could have got hammered. Well, you wouldn't have got hammered because you'd had your stop in. But look at this. You've got a perfect uh, 382 retracement. OK, off the bottom. OK, this is a two day rally. That's all it is. This is Wednesday. There's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. This is Wednesday. OK, that's a 382 exactly. Well, if you're going to buy that 382 retracement, OK, you've got to put a stop in there of about 60 or 80 pips because it went all the way down to the 78 percent retracement. We showed you that earlier. So you can't stand in front of that. You know, that's uh, that's the main thing, you know, uh, <laughs> that's all I can tell you. Just be careful. Just like the gold, you know, gold measures 1822. Uh, so far, the high is 1824.1. Does that mean that's going to be the high? Yeah, for the first three or four hours it does, but for the next few hours it might not mean anything. So remind ourselves that's what we're looking at as we go through. Now, we've got another two and a half hours of trading to go here in the stock market, and if this thing rolls over and doesn't close as high as it did the other day, remember we were up 400 points on Monday and closed down? Hello, operator. What we do yesterday, we were down a little bit, went down to the 382 retracement, and boom, from there, from 4090, where did we go? 4212, and that's the ABCD. So let's keep in mind, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. 877-927-6648. This coming Wednesday, August 10th, Basil Chapman will be hosting an all-day live webinar from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. Eastern Time, where he'll be presenting the technical tools based on the Chapman Wave methodology, a full in-depth course on his entire trading system. Over the five hours of live education, Basil will discuss studying and practicing entry and exit points, assessing where to add or subtract from positions, utilizing simple technical tools for holding positions longer, taking bear charts and adding notations, tools, and patterns, as well as identifying three core formations that repeat in every time frame and much more. When you sign up, you get a chart booklet emailed to you immediately to start studying and you gain access to his daily newsletter, The Opening Call, a $149 value. The cost to attend is only $295 and the full five hours will be archived. Don't miss this live special event Wednesday, August 10th with Basil Chapman. For all the details and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com right now. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I posted the chart from the newsletter here because we hit a really critical level. You'll notice here that uh, we've had this really strong rally coming off of that 382 on the weekly down there at 1675. And that brings us up here to really closely to that. You can see that the 61% retracement comes in at 1830 and we hit 1824. That's within, you know, six bucks of that number. Now, whether that's going to be a major number or not, we won't know for a few days. Now, we're trading, you know, 20, uh, let's see, 14, 20. We're trading about 10 bucks under the high, 18, 13, someone just told me. And so we, that doesn't mean very much. $13 in gold is very, very small amount. But if we close down on the day, and we're really close to doing that, um, the low of the day was 1808. So we could easily uh, start down on the day, and that'll make the people that bought it today, hmm, a little suspect because, uh, what the Federal Reserve is taking into account is the fact that maybe inflation is over. And if you think inflation comes in on Monday and goes out on Wednesday, um, you better reconsider that because uh, it takes a long time for things to happen this way to get them to this level and then also to undo them. And, uh, you know, we're seeing, look, what if this is the bottom of the, of the crude oil and the heating oil and gasoline? You know, uh, you're look, look at natural gas. Natural gas is trading at 817. It's only uh, 10 bucks away, well, you know, ten thousand dollars away from the high at nine and change. And maybe, and believe me, today it's moved uh, six thousand dollars. So it, it doesn't take very long for these markets to move. So inflation doesn't end overnight. I mean, they'd like for you to think to it. And, and what is the bond market telling you today? Well, the bond market right now, I just uh, got a quote that it was two handles under. That 61% retracement up there at uh, 44 and change. So um, pay attention to this. Don't always listen to what the news is. Sure, sometimes it's going to be on your side and you're going to see it uh, the right way. But but stuff that people talk about is uh, you know really scary. You you guys remember Art Cash and he's not on anymore. Art and I were this are the same age. Uh, unfortunately, his health has not been too too good, and that's the understatement of the year. But one of his favorite quotes was when he was on with uh, Mark Haynes all the time at CNBC. He said, I have a hard time believing in anybody that's on this program that hasn't shaved. And he said that includes the boys and the girls, and it actually broke the place up. I never did forget that. And when I got to visit with him once, I told him I thought him that was the best thing that uh, you had ever said. And he said, I actually got into a little bit of trouble for that. And, of course, that was before the woke environment, but uh, that's what uh, that's what happened to him. But what a stand-up guy he is, and we want to wish him uh, Wish him all the best. I haven't heard from him long. I hope he hadn't passed away. I don't think that he has. I certainly would have known that one. Okay, uh, let's move on. Sure lost a lot of really important people. Uh, well, anytime you lose somebody, it's important. But my goodness, just Bill Russell, Vince Gully, Olivia Newton, John, you know, uh, TC uh, from uh, 
uh, Magnum PI. Gosh, he was he was he was only 83. He also got killed in an accident uh, in Los Angeles. And so you know, got to be blessed for everything you have, folks. Every day is a present, so remind you that it is a gift. And uh, stay on the green side of the grass, folks, because when the time is up, the time is up, and there's not much you can do about it. So. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. I learned that from Tony Robbins, and I try to live by it. I complain a lot, just like, oh, my goodness, and we have a caller in today, Jimmy from Palm Harbor. What's up, my friend? Larry, it's good to hear your voice. I'll, I'll let you right, talk my voice a is bit. back. How, I He's didn't back. know how close to Karchner Caverns you are. I was there about 10 years ago. Yeah, very and close. Everybody talks miles. about the Grand Canyon and Zion and places like that, but that is just an uh, unbelievable place. Yeah, it's really, if you ever come to Tucson, the, the two places to see are the Air Museum and Karstner Caverns. This is really, because it's so preserved, you know, they didn't find it until about 25 years ago. And, uh, you know, it's millions of years old, but boy, it is really spectacular. I guess, I guess from what I understand, the um, the family, you know, discovered it. They kept mm-hmm. it secret, how they could keep a secret for 15 years, and they got funding from the Arizona yep. state government to turn it into a national park. And, and mm-hmm. that secret was pretty well um, kept from the public. And, and it's, it's yes. right up there next to the Grand Canyon, just ex- except it's underground. Yeah, it's it's really spectacular place. It's one of the few. The one place you don't want to go to is the biosphere. <laughs> That's a rip off. <laughs> but hey, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say anything bad either. about it, but that, for, for, that, it for used to be good. Yeah, not too bad. What can I, you want to ask a question about gold, Jim? Yeah, I missed. I missed. I was driving and I um, got an incoming call, so I missed your review of, of gold. Now Shane yesterday was talking. You know, we could be into a pretty major hit, mm-hmm. uh, which would take several years. And I'm I'm looking at this chart here, but um, I didn't know what your feeling was over the next. If there's any well, patterns that have completed right here, I think yes, you were saying we, maybe we since 1821. 1822, well, 1822 was the number. It hit 1824 okay. and change. That was the ABCD. We're down about 10, 12 bucks from that level right now, so it shouldn't get above there if it's correct. But we should have it. We should get at least a $70 correction because we went from 1675 all the way up to 1825. It's $150, so a 50% correction is going to take you down 75 bucks. So I would think we should get at least a $75 correction. Uh, but there's a chance that that low we made there at 16.75 uh, five weeks ago, that's got okay. a chance. If that can hold, it's got a chance that gold could make new highs on this thing. I know everybody doesn't think it can happen, and you know they're looking longer term. And believe me, if we go below 16.75, you're looking at 14.30. So, you know, I, I'm not going to trade it for a $70 move. I'm looking to you know get in for an eight or ten dollar stop on the things that I'm looking at. But that that's what I'm looking at, Jim, is that we should start coming down and we should drop somewhere between 38 and 50% over the next couple of days if it's really good. Now, if you now, if, if it broke that level and you're sitting, is it time to go to the safe deposit box and cash in a couple of these uh, St. Gaudens? Nah, don't oh. ever do that, and especially St. Okay. Gaudens. No, keep those, you know. How old are you, Jim? Uh, I've got five years on you, Larry. You're 87? So uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't. No, no I don't believe you. Seventy-four. Okay, so, backwards. Yeah, no, no. So young... Keep that. You know, I, every time I ever think about doing that, I walk towards the bank and I turn around and go back the other way because I, I've kept them all these years. I'm certainly not going to get rid of them now. That's sort of my, my ace in the hole if there is such a thing. And uh, you know, and if you needed it, sure. But if you don't need it, you know they. You know, gold's not being made anymore. They mine it, but it's not being made anymore. So my assumption is to to hang in there longer term. Right. Uh, at what point in time? I know you've always said you bought those those silver pieces way back when at you know eight, nine, oh, 10, eleven dollars. Oh God! Yes. At yeah. What point in time would you say, boy, I I want to back up the truck or at least start nibbling again? I uh, believe silver. it or not, I have deferred that to my heirs. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> That's exactly gotcha. what, you know, I said, do what you want to with them. Just don't tell me when. That's all I need to know. Look, I had a lot of fun with that stuff through the years. Just the memories I had of going through it was worth the worth the, the amount of money, you know, that I was fortunate enough. But, God, the the people that I met, the coin dealers and the, the celebrities and stuff, oh, my gosh, I'll tell you, it's been uh, it's been spectacular. Hey, Jim, thanks for calling in, buddy. You sound well, Larry. Hey, he's well. back. 
Billy Ray is back. <laughs> Good. See you later. Talk to you. See you later. You bet. Bye bye. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I had a question for one of our listeners, and that is he's interested in buying some gold coins, and he wanted to buy the gold pandas that are out there. Well, pandas are cute, but, boy, they are mean and dangerous, so stay away from those. The reason why is they're easy to counterfeit, folks. If you're going to buy gold, buy gold coins, either from the U.S. government or one of the bullion dealers, you know, like get it from a maple leaf or a cougar end, Austrian krona. Uh, Mexican 50 peso, though all everybody knows what those are, and they're easy to assay. If you've ever been to uh, any of the countries in the, in the Arab countries in the Middle East, if you're ever in one of the markets there where they do gold buying and stuff, you'll notice that they'll have a little marble stand there, and there's a little he has a little silver or gold hammer, and he puts the coin onto the uh, tip of that uh, pedestal and he, tap he taps it and by the ring they can tell exactly what the percentage of that gold is and the purity. Believe it or not, I, 
I'll tell you, I saw it myself. Otherwise, you could probably should go to video and find it. But boy, oh boy, it's amazing how the, this is going back to medieval times they were doing this. But they take a little hammer, it taps it like silver on silver, gold on gold, and it'll tell you pretty much whether it's pure gold or very close to what the content is. This is what they've been doing for years, and they're still doing it that way. If you have to have an assayed, like a platinum coin or something like that, and take it to Handy and Harnum, you're going to cost you a couple hundred bucks minimum to find out you know, whether it's pure, and uh, you know, and they might even damage it during that time. So I, I stay away from that. Buy U.S. or you know, foreign coins that you, that you know are of, of certain gold value and stuff. And same thing with silver coins. You know, you can find... Find, just research it a little bit. You know, it's not too much, not too difficult to do that. So uh, may, remind yourself. Anyway, live every day in an attitude of gratitude. May God bless. Tomorrow, our main man, one of our main men, Mr. Stan Harley on Friday, Peter Lighties. See you on the flip side tomorrow, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.